It wasn't that long ago that at least press reports had this company being valued at roughly $5 billion in a potential traditional initial public offering. Why in such a short time did its value go from 5 to $10 billion? I think it's the kind of growth that you, uh, viral growth that you see among companies of this sort. Uh, this is a year in which uh, eToro added 5 million new registrants to its list, topping 20 million altogether, uh, which is a significant increase and shows the acceleration of growth and acceptance of uh, the product uh, in the marketplace. Uh, as you've seen with other companies like uh, Robinhood and Stripe and some of the others, uh, valuations can grow quickly because the businesses are growing quickly. Yeah, and Yoni, you are growing quickly. Uh, in your slide deck here, I'm looking at what, 1.2 million funded accounts, about 605 million of revenue last year. Give me some projections here, given that uh, the projection based on your value is about 9.7 times 22 revenues. So what are you expecting in terms of funded accounts and overall numbers? Sure. So first of all, last year was an amazing year for us. Uh, we grew 147% uh, year over year revenues to over $600 million in revenues. Uh, and uh, we started uh, 2021 uh, with a perfect storm, uh, both uh, a crypto rally, markets and all times high, uh, and uh, a significant increase in customer demand worldwide, uh, both for crypto, uh, commission-free stocks, and obviously for a very unique patent technology of uh, combining a social network together with a trading platform, enabling our users to invest and to automatically copy top traders from all around the world. Uh, we are uh, projecting uh, to reach over a billion dollar revenues in 2021 uh, and over two and a half billion dollars in revenues in 2025. And to see the growth of the number of funded accounts uh, grow about 90 uh, plus percent uh, in 2021 versus uh, 2020 and grow over five times by 2025. All right. Those are impressive uh, potential numbers, obviously, pointing to what is a very impressive valuation. Now, you operate largely in Europe and Asia Pacific. I mean, that is the, by far the bulk of where your business is. Is there an opportunity for you to move into the Americas or are you going to continue to focus on those geographical areas for your platform? Uh, we're, we're definitely moving in into the Americas. Uh, we've launched our crypto trading platform uh, in the U.S. Uh, uh, in 2019. Uh, we've recently seen uh, triple-digit growth rates quarter over quarter uh, in our U.S. business. Uh, we've uh, received a FINRA approval for a broker-dealer license in the U.S. to launch our commission uh, uh, free stock trading and uh, our social trading network across both cryptocurrencies and commission-free stock trading uh, and have uh, very high expectations uh, to see significant growth coming from the U.S. market as well in the next couple of years. Betsy, I was reading through the footnotes on page nine of the presentation, and I just wondered if you could help me with a couple of things here. Uh, what are adjustment shares, exercisable for up to 40 million eToro shares? Are those going to the pipe investors? Are they sort What are they? They're going sure. to management. Yeah, that's for Betsy. For Betsy. Sorry. Go ahead, Betsy. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, going to management and the existing shareholders. And uh, they are have to be achieved. There are certain goals, stock price goals, to be achieved within the uh, first 30 months and then 60 months. So they're aligning themselves with the new shareholders uh, as well as uh, – reaping the benefit of 14 years of effort and building of this company to bring it to market. And I noticed as well in these footnotes, you forfeited 1.28 million SPAC sponsor shares. Why? Yoni is a tough negotiator. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.